Okay, recording. This is not today. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hiya. Today, down at the local friendly off leash dog area, some not so friendly dogs attacked my assistance dog in training, Yoshi, who you all know and love. We went to our regular friendly off leash dog beach which is just across the road from our house and Yoshi was attacked by two golden retrievers and a staffy. I decided to leave the beach because I saw these two golden retrievers enter the beach. They were trying to pick fights with every dog along the beach and I thought okay it's time to go. I am a little bit slow getting up due to mobility issues as you might know. I was putting on my shoes as that happened uh, these two golden retrievers herded Yoshi away down the beach. My mum was there and she ran as fast as she could to help Yoshi who was terrified with these big golden retrievers on top of him. Yoshi was on his back exposed tummy completely in a puppy submissive sort of um, position. The crazy thing is that even though he was in this position the golden retrievers just kept on biting and biting and attacking him. This is very odd dog behaviour, unacceptable dog behaviour. Mum got there just as the staffy joined in and started to attack him as well. So there were three dogs on top of Yoshi he was on his back screaming. The whole dog beach went completely silent. Nobody was moving. Nobody came forward. Mum was screaming, get them off him, get them off him, like screaming out. She kicked the staffy dog off with her foot, not like to hurt it, just to get it away. She was too scared to put her hand into where the retrievers were just absolutely going savage just trying to get all of these three dogs off my dog who was on his back. It took me about a minute to get to where the attack was happening to save my dog. Nobody was taking any responsibility for these attacking dogs. Like we didn't know whose dogs they were. As soon as I got there I was obviously in a panic. These dogs were going mental and I had just screamed grab your effing dog now! A man who was standing right there the whole time and did absolutely nothing just suddenly stepped in like from a meter away he was standing right beside them and grabbed one of the goldens, golden retrievers so obviously that was his dog. I grabbed Yoshi and I said to the man why did you not stop them sooner? Strangely enough this man was just holding on to his golden retriever and looking at me and like smirking and laughing like <laughs> like that so bizarre you know I said to him why didn't you stop them what is wrong with you like you know fair enough he just kept smirking and laughing staring at me and smirking and laughing I walked away towards the car with my mum and the dog. I checked out Yoshi to make sure he was okay. He had a couple of tufts of hair that had been bitten out from around his stomach and a nick in his ear. Fortunately he hasn't had his uh, summer haircut done yet so his hair is pretty thick and long at the moment. If he'd had short hair there would have been punctures, bad punctures to his skin and he would have been pretty mauled just luckily he had really thick long hair. I look back and notice this the guy who obviously owned the golden retrievers was standing there taking photographs of me. He had his mobile phone up and he was like photographing me after his dog had attacked mine or his two dogs had attacked mine. I don't know why the heck this guy was taking photos of me in that sort of situation. I asked mum to just wait with Yoshi I decided to confront the man. I have these cards that I give out to people um, that are all about Yoshi and his assistance dog work. It's just sort of the card that we give to people, all these information's on there. I wanted to give him the information card but also I thought 
if this man wants to know who I am, I'll go and introduce myself. If he wants to take my photo in a public place, clearly he wanted to know who I was for some reason because his dog had attacked mine. I don't get it. It was very odd. I didn't get video of the attack, but I did get video or audio recording of when I approached the man and confronted him about this unacceptable dog behavior in a so-called friendly off-leash area. This man turned out to be an extremely irresponsible dog owner. This man and his female companion could not comprehend the fact that what their dog was doing was wrong. When I said to them, hey, that's not play, <laughs> uh, that's aggressive behavior and that's actually uh, your dog's attacking mine, they just kept repeating, oh, there, he's, he's playing, my dog's playing with yours, as you'll see, as you'll hear in the video that I'll play in a minute. I sort of later thought to myself, does that mean if I were to go up to that guy and sort of wrestle him to the ground and start biting chunks out of his hair and punching him in the guts while he's screaming and laying on the ground and then call over a mate and then another one and then there's three of us and we all start sort of punching him on the ground like a pub brawl. Is that play? Is that, you know, he's crying and is that fun? Is that play? No, it's not. It doesn't matter if he he's actually the owner of those dogs. He is responsible for those dogs at that time at that beach. If you want to take a dog somewhere, you're responsible for that dog and you're responsible for keeping that dog in line and making sure that it's not a nuisance, making sure it's not going to overstep boundaries and hurt other dogs, instigate fights and have things escalate to an extreme attack which can not only incite other dogs to jump in, which is what happened, the staffy jumped in, but it can also deeply affect the dog who is being attacked. Excuse me. If you'd like to know our details, this is my dog. He's actually an assistance dog in training. So if you'd like to know who we are, no, then you can check that out. that your friend kicked another dog. That's what I was concerned about. To stop about. a fight. But you don't kick a dog. Would you like to know who we are? Well, you're taking photos of me in a public place. Well, here we go. That's you. That's you. What's your name? Peter. And yours? Nicole Bell. Oh, I'm trying Nicole to offer you a card. Oh, okay. So really what's happening is you're allowing your dog to be that aggressive but and it it's not good at all. My dog was on the ground and yeah. your dog had him on the ground. No, That's being submissive. That was the one that was on the top. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Well, obviously, you see things in a completely different way. We have issues way. with other dogs all the time. If people come and introduce themselves, and sort it out. They don't make snide comments under their breath. Extremely rude. I'm not making you a snide comment under breath. Oh, you I'm were for the last five right or ten now. minutes. Anyway, look, well, let's extremely get rude. But that's your choice. What? But you think that letting a dog attack another dog but is not rude? Dog no, I was talking about people. The dog, our dog wasn't attacking the Obviously, dog. Obviously, we've got two different issues going on here. Why did your friend kick the other dog? Is that's she... not my friend. That's my mother. Okay, so why did your mother to stop kick a fight? It? But then why are you saying it was our dog? She didn't come anywhere near our dog. Your dog and the other dog was on top of my dog. Everybody here saw it. it they're playing. The dog. That's playing. not playing. I'm telling you that. I'm a dog trainer, and it's not playing. Yes. Maybe but... you need to educate yourself. He's friendly. It's not playing. He's friendly. He doesn't go near any other That's dogs. That's not he friendly. What I dog. saw was not friendly. Look at this. He's being a friendly dog. He's going over to now, the dogs. Now, yes. To... Yes. So he was playing because there was a dog That was the not playing. It was aggressive. Okay. One well, dog was screaming. Two dogs were attacking. Let's agree to disagree. It's as simple as that. Good boy. Good boy. Go on, good play. Go on. So you're not willing to educate yourself at all on dog behaviour, but you want to be at an off-leash dog beach. I just find you extremely rude. Let's just agree to Everyone disagree. else, they come so, and introduce of themselves, we sort it out. I'm rude, yes. <laughs> because extremely your dog's rude. aggressive. No. Let's yes. just no, because I broke it's got nothing to do with our dog's Let's behaviour, I'm now talking about your behaviour. Right, so you can't even educate yourself. No, I'm talking about your behaviour, nothing to do with the dog. Because I approached you. He wouldn't take a card, he didn't want to know, he didn't want to leave. That was aggressive behaviour. 
No, of course not. And I was being rude because I said, hey, that's aggressive behaviour. Maybe you want to educate yourself on how what dogs do. And look, my dog, he's really friendly. He's just saying hello. Yeah, he's just trying to have another go. Why did your friend kick the other dog if it was our dog being aggressive? Uh, no. She was trying to stop the fight. Trying to get three life. dogs away from him. That's the video audio. You can sort of hear the irresponsibility of the man and his female companion. Hey, Yosh. Yosh is all right. He's a pretty resilient little fellow, but I don't want him to fight back. I'm proud that he did the right thing. He laid there. He didn't fight back. They just went for it. They were trying to rip his guts out. It's so lucky that he was fluffy. These backwards ideas about how, you know, dogs, you know, they'll just, they'll just sort it out. The dominant one and there's the submissive one, as the man says in the video. That is so backwards. Those sorts of old-fashioned uh, ideas about dogs are causing so many problems in the community. It is so dangerous. It makes such a horrible space. It makes it not friendly. It makes it awful. People avoid going to dog parks because of just one or two dogs. We go to dog club where there's, you know, 30, 40 dogs all running around, playing happily together from tiny little ones through to huge Great Danes, and they're all getting along. And you know why? Because their owners, the people that are responsible for them, are taking care. They're making sure that they don't overstep those boundaries, that they behave in the right way, and that the dogs are all respectful of each other, and they can all get along. Dog owners encouraging aggressive play, which is not play, it's aggression, it's vicious, it only leads to attacks and fights. It's absolutely disgusting. It needs to be addressed. The education level regarding basic dog etiquette is not enforced. Therefore, there is a huge lack of responsibility on a lot of dog owners' behalf. This has a terrifying impact on responsible dog owners who go to the effort of training and socializing and making sure their dogs are all getting along and doing the right thing. Going to a friendly off-leash dog park should not be like going to a smash-up derby. There are basic dog etiquette rules that everyone needs to follow. Please help educate others in basic dog etiquette. It is so important for everyone. It's important for our community. It's important for the safety of humans and their dogs. When it comes to dog behavior, the onus is on the owner. All right, stay cool everyone.